After I published a video about MEM and all the changes they made, all the features that they ripped out, I received some feedback that I should have another look at Evernote. And actually I made a video about Evernote, the dying elephant. And it seems they start reviving this elephant because now they added the new AI search feature. They added already some AI features in the past, which was clean up nodes with AI and things like that. However, the main feature in MEM was always the AI search to me. So I was able to ask AI to find nodes without searching for the exact words. So I could use synonyms or context or even other languages and would still show me the relevant information. And a feature that was lacking in MEM for a long time and is still, and they're working on this to implement this now, let's see if they will deliver, was the ability to add PDF files. So for Evernote, I used Evernote as my document dump in the past. It is easy to connect Evernote to Raven Scanner or other document scanners that you can use and easily scan your documents into Evernote. Evernote has a nice search engine already. So these were all the reasons. Then I made a video about Raycast and Dropbox, how it's easy to replace this part of Evernote and just not use Evernote anymore. And I'm still able to find my documents. However, there I really need to use the specific wording. And now with the new AI search feature in Evernote, this is really interesting. This being said, this video is not sponsored by Evernote. It's sponsored by you, our Paperless Movement members, because thanks to you guys, we can stay unbiased and keep reviewing the software in a way that matters to you the most. So thanks for your support and now let's dive in. So here we are on Evernote and here's the search. And when you go there, you have this AI Empowered. You have the standard search and I can go to AI Empowered. This is on a beta and it's currently free of charge but it seems that they will charge extra for the AI implementation. Not sure yet, we will see. But I was really surprised when I asked, for example, for audio recordings of Dorothea. Okay, let's see, there we go. Now we see the first note that opens up is actually voice uh, mailbox recordings from my daughter when she was just a few years old. And it was the first time she was calling me and talking to my voicemail. And this is it. It found it directly, but it also found 87 other results by searching for audio or recordings or Dorothea. So what this search actually does, it picks my search query and it understands what I'm searching for. And then it makes a normal search out of this with this. So there's more to it than just a plain search. Here also notes that I created in the last three days. Let's see. Yeah, it found it as well. Nice. Also something besides the search that I noticed is now that they improved the backlinks. So I cannot only add now a note link here to something. What's this? Oh yeah, that's an old note there. Okay, now I made this, let's go there. Now you see here, I'm jumping back to this note. So that's really nice that they keep implementing these things. This being said, UI, UX, I still love it. Also, they increase the speed of Evernote. It's opening very fast now. You see it's finding the notes very quickly. So this could be really a mem killer here. If they keep working on this AI search and maybe even give me serendipity when I start searching or here on the home section, showing me relevant notes, which they already tried with the suggested notes here. So let's see what they will come up in the future. And in addition, Evernote still has the features that MEM just removed. It's the calendar integration. I can easily create a new note about a calendar. And then I have the pinned note. I love the home page. Another thing that MEM removed. So let's see how this goes. Currently, Evernote is not part of our personal tool stack. However, I know many of our members are still using Evernote. So be sure that we will stay up to date. We will keep following and we will look deeper into Evernote again because also having the task inbox here, which they removed in MEM, it becomes a lot more relevant and still Evernote has a lot of great integrations with third-party tools and scanners and all these things. So it is worth that we will keep a close eye on Evernote and if you want to stay up to date make sure to subscribe to this channel so we can catch you up next time.